Hi, Recovery Girls. Misty here. Um, I had to sneak away just for a minute. You might be able to hear my husband in the background. He's giving a play-by-play -play of football to our children tonight as they eat pizza. And we're just having a sweet little time. But I was feeling gratitude. And I just wanted to come up and record a little moment about how things change in our lives. I've had very, very dark dark days. Um, a divorce that just felt like I wasn't going to survive. It was like walking off of a cliff. Going through that, and I can say that to you, and it gets reduced down to like a sentence, you know, that I went through a divorce, but the reality of that and the experience of that was more like me crying every day for about four years. <laughs> and um, more counseling appointments than I can tell you, and more meetings, and um, hugs from my girlfriends, and you know, surviving through that, and then um, lots of other things, being a single mom for three years, and, um, you know, we all have challenges, and then I then I started re making real messes um, that I wasn't proud of, my own choices that I made, um, lots of pain through that, lots of shame, lots of confusion, um, you know, fear, just terrifying paralyzing fear. I went through a, a long season of that and, um, you know, the death of my father. So I, I haven't had the worst experiences in life. My point is just that I've had my dark seasons. I've had very dark, dark days, days that I didn't think could improve. And what I've learned in recovery is that, um, you know, we do those days do pass. Those seasons, they do pass. And my higher power has good for me today in the messes, in my shame. He has gifts to offer me. And so as I um, strive for conscious contact with my higher power, with God, um, then I can experience the gifts of recovery. There are answers. There are resources available. And um, as I keep seeking his will for my life and the power to carry that out today, um, I'm going to get what I need. I'm going to get those needs met. So tonight I'm able to have a sweet little time with my family and appreciate with great perspective um, how sweet this night is, how blessed I am, how fortunate I am um, to live in this moment and to appreciate it and not to miss it. And not to take on fears of tomorrow, not to take on regrets from the past. I've had to grieve a lot of things in my life in order to help me to be present today for the gifts of today. And recovery is really teaching me that. I pray that for you, that you can be present today, that you can see the miracles that you will see in recovery as you keep um, taking each next step one day at a time. Those miracles come, and we can really celebrate in an extra sweet way these um, the moments of respite that we get in a life that's it's messy. Living this world is messy, and uh, we're all just doing the best we can. So I just want to extend that grace to you and that hope to you. I pray for you the knowledge of God's will for you today and the power to carry that out. Stay the course in recovery. I'll be on it too. Bye-bye.